What is going on guys, Pompson87 here, and today I'm bringing you the first round of the ASR Season 3 Championship on F1 2017. We finally got League Racing back on this game. I can't wait. Uh, I've been looking forward to this uh, for quite a while. The game is finally okay enough. It's not perfect. Online is still not perfect by any means. But it's definitely okay enough for League Racing. And Australia, a track uh, which I feel like I am fairly good at, fairly solid at, fairly solid at, at this game. Last game was pretty atrocious, but I jumped on this game and knew straight away that I was fairly comfortable around Australia. I had the SRR race uh, a few days before, but that was atrocious. I didn't do any practice for that. And that was just a woeful race, so there won't be any video from that, unfortunately. But um, the ASR race, I definitely put a lot more effort, well, a lot more practice in. And I was definitely in the right headset, headset definitely fully focused for this race. And I knew that I could do a good result. I even did some wet weather practice. And as you can see, qualifying is in intermediate conditions. So this is my uh, first proper clean lap so far. I did two others early in the session, and they were both pretty atrocious. I think I validated both of them. They were both pretty bad, but um, now we're doing two more laps at the end of the session. We've got a few minutes left, and this is a fairly solid lap so far. Although I feel like I can go, I can go much quicker. I wasn't really pushing that hard. I feel like I just wanted to get a lap on the board and see where my pace is at. But I feel like I could definitely push and go a little bit quicker. And as you can see, I got a pretty poor exit from the penultimate corner, getting a bit of oversteer. And the pretty good exit from the final corner, it's got to be said. As we get up to the line now, it's a 35.9, I believe. No idea whether it is on the grid because the qualifying system is still broken. broken. And unfortunately, on the second run, we got massively distracted by Acho, I believe, retired straight after completing his lap there. And that massively distracted us, and it's really cost us two tenths going into the start of the lap, which is a bit annoying, but uh, we're definitely pushing more on this lap. And let's see if we can actually recover that time through the remainder of this lap, because we could definitely go much better. But anyway, while this lap is going on, let me explain where I've been the past few weeks on my channel. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just taking a break from YouTube, although that's... I don't know. As, as, there's been a few small reasons really. My laptop for one of them is getting really slow and the editing software and the one I usually use, um, like the, the past few times I've used it lately, it's gone really slow, it's crashed quite a bit. Um, so it just makes YouTube not really... Uh, quite hard anyway on my laptop. I need to think about getting a new laptop at some point soon. But um, also the fact that YouTube for F1 is just sort of dying. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Even people have got more subscribers than me, bigger YouTube channels, bigger audiences usually, are struggling massively to get views. A lot of people are just getting demotivated, and I guess I'm sort of in that club as well. Um, I'm slightly more motivated now that ASR's back and I'm into league racing, but I've still definitely played this game and I still like I'm still fairly quick in this game as well. So let's see what we can do. Uh, we did actually gain quite a bit of time during that lap, but unfortunately we got a very sloppy run through the penalty to a corner, got a little bit of O-stair, and unfortunately we're not going to improve our time, which is really frustrating because I feel like I could, had I actually performed my best, but it's P5 in the grid. I, I admit, I was fully surprised because I didn't check at all, but it's P5 in the grid, only four tenths off pole, and you know I could have gone quicker because my second run, I was two tenths on the start of the lap, pulled it back, and then made a mistake for the final sector. If I'd got a perfect lap, I would have been near the front row. And that's incredible in itself, I think, for me personally. But um, looking towards the race now, it is a fully dry race, unlike the qualifying session. So let's see how we'll go. Strategy, of course, will be a one-stop. And with the rain, it means we can start on the super soft tyres. Because otherwise, the one-stop with the ultras to the softs, for me personally at least, would be pretty tricky. As my tyre wear still isn't the best, and it's still not as good as the wheel drivers on this game. Although it's definitely much better than it for 2016, it's got to be said. And now on the Pro Lab, it's got to be said as well that uh, everyone completed it without incident. No one's left, no one's left on the grid, so that's good effort by everyone. And now we're going around the grid, waiting for the five lights to um, by everyone, everyone to assemble on the grid first, and then the five lights will illuminate on the screen, and the season three of ASR can be underway. In the sub, by the way, um, I feel like I'm pretty good in this car. Our teammate is Jason or KMP4, if I haven't mentioned already. And yeah, let's see how we go for this race. Everyone's readied up. We've got the five lights illuminating on the screen now. And it's lights out now. And away we go. The first race of season three on ASR. 
pretty sloppy start. Must have got a really bad start, but Acho has got a really good start alongside us. Going into turn one, and he's got the inside line. Forced a little bit out wide, not really leaving any space on the exit. But he's entitled to do that, so that's fine. And I've hold, held P5 as Master Berserk went backwards at the start. Now we're looking at the outside of Acho as goes defensive into turn three. A little bit of contact, but unfortunately, no damage uh, at this point of the race so far. As we're going through the rest of the first sector. In P5, it's so a holding up position really. We lost a position to Acho, but gained one of Master Berserk. And now we've got Oh My Goddess Joe right behind us. It's actually an AOR driver, so it's pretty quick. And we're going through the rest of the first sector. We're actually in Rich Mix, by the way, still, as that's a mistake from the start. I forgot to change it. But we gained a lot on Acho through that corner. He went a little bit too deep. And he is must be a standard. I must be in Rich Mix. We've got a great run up the back straight, going to the outside of turn 11 and 12. Surely I can't hold it around the outside. I'm going to try and do that. Wheel banging side by side. I have to cut the corner so I ease off the gas and let it get ahead. But oh, now we're under pressure from Oh, oh my God, it's Joe. And we swerve a little bit and he's backed off a little bit there. I feel like he left him enough through, but I'm not quite sure. We're going to have a replay of that in a second, but I'm pretty sure he got front wing damage from the instant. And we've still got P5 ahead of Acho, uh, sorry, ahead of Joe and just behind Acho as we lock up going to a corner. But a pretty good start so far. I kept my grip position. That's all I can ask for, really. I don't think I have the pace to challenge the top three today. All I'm looking for is a nice, consistent race, finishing with some good points. That's all I'm aiming for for this race today. And a top five or top six position would definitely work out very nicely. This is the incident on the first lap. Going side by side with Acho, I had to cut the corner as I didn't want to risk anyone spinning out on the first lap and I eased off the throttle there to allow it Acho to get the position from me. And that put me under pressure from Oh My God and Joe and it's just a little bit too much turn. I feel like at the time I left enough space but I'm not quite sure. He didn't have a full car alongside me, I think only his front wing. So I'm not, I feel like that might be my fault I guess in a way. Might also be slightly lag induced, I'm not quite sure. If the stewards want to look at that then they can do um, and I'll just have to accept that decision. But. Uh, it's on board with iFens and he reverses off the s off his grip position. <laughs> that that that's that's a that's a crappy glitch in itself. That's that's really bad. Unfortunate for iFens, he's disqualified off the line for a really weird glitch here. And this is on board with Master Berserk, a very poor start, cut the first corner for good measure. And now he is going on the back straight alongside of Ar Acho. But then again, if you look back at my screen, he wasn't there at all. So it's already desynced during this race. He's going side by side of Acho. He's getting pushed around, pushed onto the grass, got damaged. There, there's me going past. And as you can see, a little bit later in lap one, he gets completely shoved off by Great Master, who probably wasn't there on his screen. So Master Berserk desyncing already. Very unfortunate for him, but he has, he's known to have internet issues in this league. But he's a reserve, though, so... Oh, it's just very unfortunate for him. And now we go on start lap three. Uh, there's about a second and a half behind Acho and just in front of Chimcha now is going in front of Joe, uh, who I believe he pitted after that front wing damage. And unfortunately we got a little bit of a lock up going through the corner. We put our front left in the grass and that cost me a little bit more time to Acho ahead. And now we've got a little bit further back, a replay from on board a Greek master going on looking very threatening behind Dominator and KM before my teammate as KM4 serves into him and serves into the wall and Greek Master has nowhere to go uh, but that was actually lag KM4 wasn't there on his screen and that was actually lag sending Greek Master into the wall very unfortunate for him but that just happens unfortunately with the net code on this game and that's a bottle job from Brock does stuff swerving it into the wall around the final corner it's also very easy to do though on the around this track very easy to lose at the final corner and now we're going on the back straight towards the turns 11 and 12 and about two and a half seconds behind Acho as we cut that corner slightly a bit too much and that's a three second time penalty my first penalty of the race and we actually only got two penalties during the race so keep that in mind for later on but we're just a, about a second ahead of Chimchar and a couple of seconds behind Acho and just behind Chimchar is actually Tima Marduk or Ben Daly himself and that's a tire wear 51% 50, on the front left and as you can see someone's in the pit lane doing the undercut strategy that's actually Tima Marduk coming to the pit lane just behind uh, Chimchar as staying within the dirty air of someone around this track is incredibly difficult um, gonna be difficult to go racing around the track as well. Dirty Air is it's probably one of the worst tracks this track for Dirty Air. But uh Team Up Marduk there going for the undercut strategy, going on the soft tires early on, and now it's a battle late um 
further down the grid. It's team X Quicksilver and X Fitcho, both very quick drivers. As they go side by side through to one very good move from Quicksilver so far. He's got DRS down the back straight and he's going to get the move on X Fitcho. And as you can see there, Timo Marduk sending the fastest lap of the race as uh, Quicksilver holds around the outside of Fitcho. Very nice move, but I saw the fastest lap from Ben and I just had a feeling he was going to merge ahead of us when we make our pit stops. And sure enough, we're actually going to make a pit stop now. We could have extended it for a lap or two more, but we felt like we just had it too long and we're going to leave too much time to Ben Daly. We let slow down a bit too much for the pit lane speed limiter. Acho, unfortunately, also pits at the same time as us. I was hoping to get a little bit of undercut on him, but he did the same thing as us. Chimchar, by the way, staying out a few more laps. He actually closed in on me a little bit towards the end of that stint, but obviously he couldn't get past with the dirty air in this game. There's just no chance for him, unfortunately. And now we're going back onto the track. Now, Ben's already got past this. It's actually very close to Acho. And so now we're going to have a look at a replay of Ben. Going on to start finish right, it's good to see of Brock the stuff who made an Xbox clip of it when he was watching the race. But uh, Ben go, go around the outside, but went very deep. And is actually going to get the switch back on him. So Ben there, really ruining that mistake. He could have got position ahead of the Red Bull driver, but now they actually, he has to actually do it on track to uh, get P5 ahead of him, I believe it is. But now we're in P10. Obviously, some more drivers ahead haven't pitted yet, as a lot of people did start on the slips off tyres and are holding out to like lap 14 or something. But now at the end of lap 13, two more people in the pits, X Fitcho and Dominator, I believe. Dominator, by the way, actually gained quite a bit during that first stint, and he's only a few seconds down the road, so it could be quite threatening during the rest of this race. Dominator is a very quick driver, not quite sure where he's from. It might have been an F2, or it might be just from a different league, but I know it's Australian, and he's also very quick. As I said, personal best, Chimchar is now in the pits and is out on track. I was hoping he would be out in front of Dominator, but unfortunately, um, Dominator has just got ahead of him as uh, Jim Char seems to be very equal pace with me we seem to be very similar also last season as well me and Jim Char seem to be very similar in pace which also means we could, shoot, we could have some good battles this season but unfortunately Dominator is very very quick I'm not sure what happened to him in quality but he qualified way down the order and he's trying to recover those positions I put into Rich Mix but unfortunately he's got DRS and very good straight line speed it's got to be said and there's really not much I can do as he flies down the inside. He goes a little bit too deep, so we can get the switch back at him, go to the outside. A little bit of contact as he swerves into us a little bit. And that forces a little bit on the grass, and he's got DRS. He would have got the position anyway, even without that little bit of contact. But uh, a little bit scary uh, going on the grass there at high speed. But uh, we got away with it. Dominator's now into P6. I'm in P7. Even a P7 result isn't that bad. And now we've got another replay camera. It's on board, picks quick silver. He was a few seconds down the road from me. We've got massive Pizzo going wide. The final corner. He serves back on track. And that's X Quicksilver in the wall. Very unfortunate of him. Fitcho goes through. And that's actually desync. Poor Berserk. Once again, desyncing. And this on board of him. And he looks behind. And that's unfortunately in the wall. He's a few seconds ahead. What can he do, really? I mean, I probably have to look into um, Berserk's desyncing issues. Because that's going to be a real issue if I continue for the rest of the season. But, uh,. Go back to my race now, sending personal best second sector. As there's a car off on the grass there, it's Acho in the Red Bull. I'm not sure if he bottled it into the wall in, at turn 11 or he had contact with Ben. I know they were very close on track. But uh, we hold it round his outside into that corner. I think he has front wing damage, so I think he's going to come into the pit lane now and get a new set of tyres and a new front wing. But that was very unfortunate for him. He was looking very strong in P5 or 4 or wherever he was. And now we've got a replay on board of AOR Charlie's in a very poor race, has got to be said. He's on the grass around the corner, loses the front wing, and actually ha uh, has his controller dis disconnecting, which uh, I believe probably uh, contributed to the accident quite a bit. Uh, I think we saw something very similar with Warden last season. And now we can look at the top left of the screen. We've got Dominator closing in very quickly on Tim and Marduk, and they're actually battling for position. Uh, I think they're going side by side for turn 3 and 4. As you can see just ahead there, the four, it looks like the Williams has just got ahead of the Ferrari. And Ben is now down into 6th place, I believe, just ahead of me. And now we've got another replay. This is a battle for the lead, actually, with Warden versus New Zealand Ryan. Both very quick drivers and probably will be competing for the championship in this season. But uh, we've got the Force India. Very good run on the back of New Zealand Ryan. And he's on the ultra soft tyres. Knowing Warden Warden's tyre way, he probably starts from the Supers and went to the Ultrasoft tyres, so that's given him a massive advantage 
during that later stint and he's probably pulled out a massive gap to New Zealand Ryan who's on the soft tyres obviously. But now lap 26 we've pulled in the gap to Timo Marduk. He's obviously pitted several laps earlier than me. He has probably quite a bit of tyre weight to contend with now. Uh, we're closing the gap. We've got 1.5 seconds to him at that point in time. But unfortunately I think a few small mistakes by me. And um, besides so the dirt, yeah, I would never have got past him. So... That's just the way it is. Chimchar is about a second or two behind us as well, so he's tailing us. Even though he has fresher tyres, he couldn't get past us. This is probably the dirty air, to be fair, though, on this game. It's just incredibly difficult. Tyre wear, by the way, is about 61%. So, pretty comfortable, really, the tyre wear around this track for today. It's a front left tyre, probably impacting us quite a bit, but tyre wear, as I said, isn't really an issue. We put it into third gear for some reason around that corner, but it doesn't really matter. We have two penalties, so it depends if Chimchar and Ben both have two penalties as well will decide the order for us free. Dominator's quite a few seconds to the road. Warden has won the race, so congrats to him. I believe it's Ginger Horizon has also got his podium in his first race in the season, so congrats to him. And we actually hold on to P6 ahead of Chimchar. So P6, definitely a great result. I'm, ha I'm happy with that. I've, I've, it was a nice and consistent race. I was just working again to the end, getting some good, good solid points, and that's exactly what I did. Keeping it well, good pace with the cars around us, um, but we like to chimchar. Even Ben, I think we had similar pace like with that whole race. So P6, very good result. I, for, I Even though it's quite a lonely race, no many on-track battles. Just just keeping it focused and keeping it clean. Uh, no mistakes, getting good points at the end. Uh, chimchar, by the way, also did have the same amount of penalties as us. Same with Ben, so that was the order at the end of the race. Yeah, it's just a very good race. I'm pretty happy with that result at the end of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button if you did. Please subscribe if you're new. And I guess you'll be seeing some of these clips on Ben's video when that comes out. So I'll see you guys then for my next video, whatever that may be. So I'll see you guys then. Palms out.